A 101 homicide so far in Indianapolis this year, but RTV6 is digging deeper to highlight the areas most affected. The Now's Mike Pelton joins us, and Mike, it's easy to see where most of the killings have taken place. Yeah, well, Candace, our map is broken down by legislative district for the city county council. The darker the red, the deeper the problem. Today, we went inside District 8, which by our analysis is home to the most murders this year. We, we look out for each other around here. The Halloween decorations are up, but for this father of four, it's not always a good scare that comes with the neighborhood. I can't let him stay outside all day because I'm, I fear what might happen. He asked us not to use his name, but this family lives in District 8 on the north side, a few blocks from a memorial for 20-year-old Marshawn Frazier, gunned down in August. It's crazy. There's no reason to really be killing people. An analysis by RTV6 shows District 8 has seen 15 murders this year, the most of any district. I've always advocated that District 8 was probably one of the low crime areas. Councilor Monroe Gray Jr. represents District 8 and says the relative tranquility of years past is long gone. I think maybe some of the guys who were incarcerated before are now back on the street and uh, they're taking up where they left off. Gray is pushing for longer jail sentences for select crimes, a push he plans to take to the state house. With many of the murders involving those in their teens or 20s, he says the best way to fight back is by adding jobs. We need to find some kind of way that we can find uh, a way to produce jobs for the, for the young people in that age group so that we can uh, give them something to do. This father agrees that's an answer, but says city leaders need to make it a reality to keep him in District 8. I hope it'll turn into a nice neighborhood. I wouldn't mind staying here, but the way things are going now, I would not I would like to move by next, next year. And Candace and Jason, that man just moved from Chicago two years ago to escape the violence there. He tells me this summer in Indianapolis is just as bad as he remembers from the Windy City. For the Now Indy, Mike Pelton, RTV6.